This is a summary on anaerobic respiration and it's geared loosely towards the Irish Leaving Cert syllabus. You won't understand anaerobic respiration unless you've covered aerobic respiration and NAD first, so go back and do that. Anaerobic respiration is the controlled release of energy from food without the use of oxygen. The key feature here is no oxygen is involved. Some organisms are classed as being facultative anaerobes. If there's oxygen available, they'll respire aerobically. However, if there is no oxygen, then they can switch to anaerobic respiration. There are obligate anaerobes, those organisms that can only respire anaerobically. Think of O for zero, zero oxygen. What we are really studying in our course is fermentation. The two types of fermentation on your course are alcohol and lactic acid. It all starts off with glucose, that six carbon molecule, that simple sugar, that monosaccharide. Where does it all take place? Well, fermentation takes place in the cytosol, the liquid part of the cytoplasm. Fermentation commences with glycolysis, where that six carbon glucose was broken down to those two three carbon molecules of pyruvic acid or pyruvate. The main feature of glycolysis is that glucose is not completely broken down. And for this reason, it gives a net gain of only two ATP molecules. Not forgetting those two NADH molecules which were produced by removing pairs of hydrogen atoms. So at the end of glycolysis you have the two pyruvic acids or pyruvate molecules, the two NADHs and the two ATP molecules. Now ordinarily, as in aerobic respiration, if there was oxygen present in the cells, those NADHs would deliver electrons to the electron transport chains. Those electron transport chains located in the mitochondria of the cells would receive the electrons and NADH would revert back to being NAD+. However, in fermentation, there is no electron transport chain to receive any electrons. And cells only have a certain number of NAD plus molecules. So regenerating NAD plus is very important and this can only happen if those NADH molecules transfer the hydrogen atoms which contain those all important electrons to other molecules. Fermentation is a way of regenerating NAD plus so that glycolysis continues. So let's go through lactic acid fermentation. Well, glycolysis takes place as normal and you end up with the pyruvic acids or the two pyruvates. Those NADH molecules, they transfer the hydrogen atoms, which contain those very important electrons, to those pyruvic acid molecules and in so doing regenerate NAD plus. With the transfer of those hydrogen atoms, which contain those very important electrons, not forgetting the protons too, to the pyruvic acid molecules, this converts them to lactic acid molecules. This transfer regenerates NAD+, which is all ready to trap and transfer some more electrons and those protons. So let's run through the process. At the end of glycolysis, two pyruvic acid molecules were formed. These then received the hydrogen atoms from those two NADH molecules. Those hydrogen atoms contained very important electrons and protons, and so converted the two pyruvic acid molecules into two lactic acid molecules. With a net gain of two ATP molecules, those formed during glycolysis. And this all still was a one-stage process. Lactic acid fermentation can happen in our muscle cells during strenuous or vigorous exercise when muscle cells would be lacking in oxygen. Eventually the lactic acid, it's really the lactate, is broken down in the liver and this is converted back usually into pyruvate. So during this process we pant a lot after exercise because we are in oxygen debt. We need to take in enough oxygen to break down that lactate. In addition to muscle cells, lactic acid fermentation is carried out by some bacteria and it's the process by which yogurt and cheese is produced. So you began with a glucose molecule and it was broken down to form two lactic acid molecules with a net gain of only two ATPs. Now let's talk about alcohol fermentation. Alcohol fermentation is carried out by some types of fungi, for example yeast. It's also carried out by some plants and some bacteria. It all begins with glycolysis, where the glucose molecule, the six carbon glucose, is broken down or partially broken down to form two pyruvate molecules or two pyruvic acid molecules. And we encounter the same problem where we have the two NADH molecules generated but no electron transport chain to receive those electrons. In alcohol fermentation, the two pyruvic acid molecules or the two pyruvate molecules each lose a carbon dioxide. You remember that the pyruvates or the pyruvic acid molecules were three carbon molecules. They now form these two new two carbon molecules. These newly formed two carbon molecules receive the hydrogen atoms from those two NADH molecules, which contain those all important electrons, and so form ethanol, two molecules of ethanol. 
Alcohol fermentation began with both pyruvic acid molecules losing a carbon dioxide. This formed two new two-carbon molecules. These new molecules received the hydrogen atoms from the NADHs, so forming two molecules of ethanol. And the great benefit is NAD plus was regenerated. So now you know how glucose was converted to two ethanol molecules, where the two molecules of CO2 came from and those two ATPs. And you know that alcohol fermentation is a one-stage process. It's good to know some applications for anaerobic respiration. The brewing industry is based on anaerobic respiration. It's yeast anaerobically respiring to produce alcohol. Yeast is also used in baking. Anaerobic respiration in yeast causes dough to rise because it releases those CO2 molecules. And you now also know that certain types of bacteria carry out lactic acid fermentation and this is used in the production of cheese and yogurt. As always, the only way to revise is to use your textbook, do lots of past papers and always listen to your teacher. The best of luck. Please note, all of the professional looking icons are from the Noun Project. They are all common copyright. I'm a pro member, but I still want to credit the artists as above and in the credits.